Herbert's polynomial, this topic should come under network synthesis because positive real functions, the basic condition for a positive real function is that its denominator must be a Hurwitz polynomial. Now, why do we need to do Hurwitz polynomial? It is because in control system, which you will be doing in later semesters, the concept of stability is determined using the concept of Hurwitz polynomial. If a poly polynomial is having all the roots on the left hand side of the S plane, that is PS is equal to, if we wish to determine that whether it is stable or not, we construct a Routh Hurwitz array. Starting from the highest power and after missing one of the paths, the next one you will write. Here you will write all of them. S cube coefficient is 1. 6 S square, so 6 will be here. 11 S, 11 will be here. And S raised to bar 0, that is 6 will be here. So these two rows from the question. Question will give you these two rows normally. Now, 6 into 11, that is 66, minus 1 into 6, divided by this 6, that gives you 10. And the last one, 10 into 6, minus 6 into 0, because nothing is there, over this 10 gives you 6. All the first elements of each of the row are positive. So, PS is a Hurwitz polynomial. The physical significance of it is that if this factor would have been in the denominator and there could have been any other polynomial in the denominator, let us say QS. If it is split into parcel fraction, and its inverse is taken, all these terms are going to give you exponentially decaying or such kind of terms which is going to have a finite area as a t tends to infinity. Which means the system which is having this kind of transfer function is giving you a response, impulse response, which is having finite area. That is, it is having bounded input, bounded output stability. That is the need of doing this topic of Hurwitz polynomial. Now let's take another example. There are imaginary roots, but all the roots are lying on the left hand side of the S plane. Let us construct PS. Now, if the question would have been PS is given and we have to check whether it is Hurwitz polynomial or not. Same step, S cube, S1, S cube, S cube coefficient 1, S coefficient 9, 5 is coefficient of S square and this 5 is coefficient of S raised to power 0. 9 into 5, 45 minus 5 divided by 5. Eight into five forty minus nothing divided by eight that is five. 
all the elements of first row are positive all first elements of a row or all elements of first column are positive hence ps is hurwitz polynomial so this second case also demonstrated that it doesn't matter whether you are going to have complex poles complex conjugate poles still as long as it is on the left hand side of the s plane you are going to have what you call it a hurwitz polynomial now let's take the third case now let's test whether the polynomial which is given here is hurwitz or not s4 s square s raised to power 0 s cube coefficient 2 Coefficient of S is 3. Now the next row 2 into 5, 10, minus 4 into 3, 12, 10 minus 12 is minus 2, divided by 2 is minus 1. 2 into 2 is 4, minus 0, divided by 2, that is 2. Minus 3. Minus of 4, that is minus 7, divided by minus 1, that is 7. And the last one, 2. Now, one of the element here is negative. Which means, one of the roots just one of the polynomial fs is on the right hand side of the s plane i won't advise you to verify now but after exams you can verify after finding out the roots of this equation that one of the root will lie on the right hand side on this side anywhere so this was a five mark question which was asked and very simple to do it by this way and you will get full out of work